All right, so what I'm doing here is starting the book, Ethel the Cyborg Ninja. This is page one and page two. And I like to start to start my books with a wide cinematic shot where, where possible. And this, since this takes place in deep space, the first two pages are going to be space uh, with, with a lot of dialogue. So I'm just going to put in a temporary word balloon for the moment and start writing. And that's a little too big. Let's, let's uh, shrink that and go with my normal font here. Had some people say, why don't you use a letterer? And, um, I would drive a letterist or a letterer, whatever, whatever they're called technically, one who makes letters far better than I do. I would drive them crazy because I rewrite stuff all the way up until the thing is, up until the book is ready to get published. Font cap blocks. In, put the pen down. In the deepest, darkest, darkest depths of the universe resides an unspeakable evil so unimaginably terrible that has never been spoken of before. So what I have here is a pencil sketch, actually two pencil sketches of a familiar classic game room character. This is Edit Station 1. Uh, two different shots of him. Um, and I'm going to grab the smaller one, copy that, and drop it in here. There we go. Okay. And uh, I'm not implying that Edit Station 1 is the unspeakable evil, and obviously there was there's some grammar and some cleanup in, in there. I, I don't deal with that until the end. Run everything through a spell checker. It is important that we start the book off with a bit of mystery. Why the hell? And even if you don't know who Edit Station 1 is, you're like, why the hell is this freaking computer with wheels and an antenna floating in the middle of space with this ridiculous, overdramatic, ominous writing. Well, that's what we're here to find out. So there he is, down there, in space. And I'm going to take the background away from him. We'll zoom in. There is Edit Station 1. Hello! Why are you floating in deep space? What happened to you? Let's do a layer effect, layer style blending options. We're going to do an outer glow on Edit Station 1, make him pop out of the black background. Well, Edit Station 1 is a pretty simple design for the most part. You can He doesn't have a mouth or a face or eyes, and I usually would use eyes to show expressions. In his case, I use everything else. I use like the, the keyboard part of him, which well has a trackball. His screen and the top of his uh, screen cover kind of act like eyebrows. His antenna acts like a dog's tail, and it's up or down. You can kind of tell how he feels about things. The beginnings of my uh, inked edit station one. I'm going to take out the pencils and do the same thing I did with the other side of the page. Layer, layer style, blending options, outer glow, put that to 100 opacity, take the range off completely, and uh, drop that spread down a little bit for the size. There. Gotta clean up his wheels a bit, as you see, but. That a little bit. Okay. Looking at really a two panel main shot here. I got some more dialogue to throw in there. I may make that a three panel main shot. Come to think of it, put a uh, rectangle in here. And this is one of the reasons I actually really like working digital. It's kind of what I do with editing. I just change my mind constantly until it's right. I'm going to go lay the rest of the dialogue down here. I'm going to grab my notes. Um, Maybe I'll clean the wheel up while I'm sitting here staring at it. It's bothering me. Excuse me while I fix his wheels. Here we go. I drew this last night. This is her spaceship from, from the side. Flying across the screen like one of those 90s spaceship games. And she, I'm going to do a computer graphic here. She's pointing at it. They are 
arriving at their destination. I throw on the brakes so there's arrow kind of screeching to a halt in space, a reverse shot, and then this is going to be the speaker so you know the spaceship is talking to her. So I'm establishing a bunch of stuff all at once here. Let's take off the sketch lines and throw on uh, the pencil drawing of Errol, which looks like that. What I'm doing now is detail work on Errol, the spaceship. I like doing detail work. It's actually relaxing. So it's a ship, so I can put in all these neat little lines and trying to give it some personality. There we go. So I'm stacking my layers. I'll grab these two together and move them over here. Here's my sketch page where I have a hand drawn and the reverse shot of Errol. So I'm going to grab the hand and drop that into here. So I'm going to copy that, paste it. Now I have my jets. Here's the sketch of the hand and it's actually my hand I drew while I was just sitting down. And uh, she's pointing at a screen with a map. And what I'm really doing here is having a slow reveal because this is page uh, page five. And, you know, it's like wide shot, wide shot, wide shot, close shot. You know, but then we're starting to cut back and forth between her and the ship. And then the next page has uh, sort of the, the ethel appearance in, in her own book, you know. She's about to jump out of the spaceship. But i got a close-up of her hand here uh, from the... Just kind of her perspective, really. It's nothing. It's not a terribly exciting shot. I need to make a new layer, but I think the tens. I think sometimes you can get obsessed when drawing comics uh, with the artwork, and I think the artwork is a key component of the comics, obviously. But really, the storytelling is is uh, and the directing, the storyboarding, whatever you want to call it, is is actually more important than the artwork. Outer glow again, select that, remove the range, increase the opacity, and drop the size down to that. There we go. Okay. All right. So this is going to be a computer screen here, and I'm going to do that in Illustrator a bit later. Uh, but it's going to sort of show where the show where the ship is heading. They're here, and you know the arrow's asking you know, where is here exactly. And I changed the dialogue a bit, so just ignore that balloon fill that in later. Um, I'll put some effects in this panel to represent the ship coming to a coming to a halt and then draw the speaker here and then the next pa page will have uh, will have Ethel who will be jumping out of the spaceship into outer space making this stone layer.